Hello everybody, um, today's video is going to be on things you didn't know your Phantom 3 standard could do. Uh, I myself have just discovered one of these glorious functions that I will be sharing with you today. Um, so let's dive right in. The first one being the ability to actually capture raw photos. Uh, I was under the impression that, oh, this is the Phantom 3 standard, this isn't the advanced or the professional, so therefore things like raw photos or JPEG and raw photos are going to be blocked out. Well, that's not really the case. Uh, so in order to enable raw photos, because they aren't enabled by default uh, due to the storage capacity or the storage space and the storage capacity that is given to you on your stock SD card, and the size that raw photos and JPEG and raw photos take up, uh, I guess they decided, no, we're not gonna enable this function. So in order to enable it, you'll go into the upper right corner where it says menu. You'll be in camera mode, of course, not video mode, but camera mode. You'll click menu. You'll go down to image format and you have the ability to select raw, JPEG or JPEG and raw. Uh, now, by default, JPEG is selected. If you want to do JPEG and RAW, that's my preference, is to capture both the JPEG and the RAW photo. Um, you can capture just the RAW photo if you're concerned about space, but I like to do both JPEG and RAW. Um, after that, it's automatically saved, so you can just hit the back button um, and click out of the menu. And you now have the ability to capture both a JPEG and a raw photo, uh, which is very nice to have. Uh, so if you capture the image, of course in the actual, um, in the kind of live feedback, live view of your, um, of your gallery, you're not gonna see the raw and you're not, you're only gonna see the JPEG. Uh, that's just one of the downsides to it. You typically you won't see raw photos uh, in your live gallery just because the larger image format uh, really means that you're not going to be transmitting that kind of data back over Wi-Fi to your actual device uh, from your drone, especially while flying. So, cap really again, you'll only see the raw photos if you actually pull your SD card out and pop it into your computer and pull that raw image data out uh, that way. Uh, so for example, if we take off, So if we take off and we take a picture over here, um, by default now, it's going to capture both a JPEG image, so it's compressed form and kind of all the image correction already done on there as a smaller file. It's also now going to capture the raw file, which will be all the data from the image sensor, and plop it on the SD card so now post-processing you have a lot more ability to edit images and things of that nature so that's that's a really nice handy feature to have 